Aesop's Fables, the, the silversmith most definitely is the tortoise, not the hare. And it really does take a great deal of time to create one of these vessels, both with the hand raising and then the chasing. And it's literally, you know, you can, you can count the hammer blows in the tens of thousands. But that, and the making is actually only quite a small part of it. Um, the thing that excites me most is the, the drawing and the exploration, or the observing that goes on beforehand. Um, I find, you know, drawing is an absolutely essential part of the process. And I, I tend to have three um, sketchbooks, all of which are different, but end up sort of contributing to the finished piece. The first one is really just, um, well, it's my, my book of, sort of botanical studies. Now, apart from it giving me considerable amount of information, um, it, it really goes a lot deeper than that because the, the level of concentration that you use when you're focused on the subject means that all, all sense of self actually disappears. You're totally at one with that being drawn. It's only really once that the studies are finished that the self, the imagination, you know, or the artistic license can then come into play. Um, now the second is really my ideas book, which is a you know, book of rough sketches. It's actually more like a scrapbook. Quite a lot of the design I do is really just scribbled on bits that I, I throw away. I'll tend to finalise the design actually on the piece of work itself, which I've covered in designer's gouache, or I will at times have to do a finished drawing really for the client. Now the third book is, well this is really my, my pattern book. Now it's strange how in the visual arts, patterns are rather dismissed as decoration. But in music, whether it's Bach or traditional folk melodies, you know, all the vigour or the subtle variation is, is really taken very seriously. And it's given the, the um, well, it's given its proper due. The frustrating thing I find drawing in nature is that um, you know, often what you want to draw, well, you have a very short window of opportunity sometimes to draw it. And by the time you've actually found time, you've collected your sketchbook and your pencils, and um, you then find that whatever it is has disappeared. This summer, however, oh, sorry, last summer, I did actually manage to catch the tail end of bindweed, which um, is a flower that I do want to come back to again this year. But I, I drew it enough to produce the bindweed beaker, the convolvulus beaker, and that inspired my ode to bindweed, which I shall now give you. You rampant rooted trumpet strumpet, bane of the horticulturalist, I love your tangle mangle, unicorn budded beauty. Climb on and sound your delicate horn of summer to wake our jaundiced sleeping eyes. <laughs>